In this video, we're gonna tell you seven reasons why you should not get a Himalayan cat. Himalayan cats are beautiful. They got a perfect size, but they may not be for everyone. And in this video, we have seven reasons why they may not be best for you. Let's get started with the first reason. The first reason a Himalayan cat may not be best for you is because of shedding. One of the positives of this cat is it has a thick, full, long coat, but that thick, full, long coat will come out and it's very fine. So it's gonna be on your couch, on your clothes, on you, on your carpet. It's gonna be just about everywhere. It'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you groom them once in a while by giving them a nice, soft brushing to manage this hair. But if you don't wanna deal with hair or you don't wanna deal with cleaning up the hair, then a Himalayan cat may not be best for you because their long, beautiful coat will shed and it'll shed more than you think. The number two reason why a Himalayan cat may not be best for you is because they can have energy out of nowhere. This is a quiet companion that's loving, loyal, and just loves to be by their owner. But out of nowhere, they can have bursts of energy and be out of control. More than just regular cat zoomies, they are known to have energetic bursts out of absolutely nowhere, can cause damage, things can get tipped over, and it's something to be aware of. So if you're looking for a gentle cat that lays around and just hangs out, this cat can be that, but they can also be nuts at time. So it's something that you need to be aware of and something that you may not want if you're looking for a new cat. You may look for a cat that's more even keeled and one that you can be more predictable of, but a Himalayan cat can be nuts at times and it's something you need to be aware of if you're looking into this cat. The number three reason why a Himalayan cat may not be best for you is because they need exercise. Like we just mentioned, they can have energy and they can have a lot of it. So it'll be up to you as the owner to play with them once in a while to get rid of some of this pent up energy. So if you're looking for a cat that's less maintenance and you don't have to give them exercise, you should look to another breed because a Himalayan cat has a lot of energy and they wanna play. And it'll be up to you as the owner to give them a laser, a mouse, something to keep their brains and body active almost every day. If you don't wanna do this, you should look to another cat breed. Number four reason why a Himalayan cat may not be best for you is because they can have separation anxiety. This cat loves their owner, they're super lovable and they wanna be around you most of the time. If you're gone for long periods of time and just not around this cat, they're not gonna do well. They can get destructive and ruin furniture, markings, anything that you don't want, they'll end up doing it if you're not around. Unlike most cats that can go on their own for long periods of time, a Himalayan cat really wants to be around their owner. So if you're not around a lot, a Himalayan cat may struggle and it's something to keep in mind. Number five reason why a Himalayan cat may not be best for you is because they're not big fans of others. They do okay around kids, other cats, dogs, but it takes them a minute and they wanna do it on their terms. So if you have other animals or you're soon to get other animals or maybe you're gonna have a baby soon, a Himalayan cat will adjust, but it may take more time than you'd like as the owner. It'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that this process goes well and take a little extra time and work to make sure your Himalayan cat adjusts to other people and animals. So if this is something you don't wanna deal with, a Himalayan cat may not be best for you because there's plenty of cats that get along just fine with other animals and people. The number six reason why a Himalayan cat may not be best for you is because they generally like a quiet house. If you've got a quiet house, it's just you and somebody else, maybe not a lot of kids or other animals running around, the Himalayan cat will do really well. But if you've got a hectic house, a Himalayan cat may have trouble. So it's something to keep in mind and it may not be the best fit for you and your family if you have a hectic house. They like to be calm, gentle, and lay around and then they like to get crazy on their own terms and they definitely will get nuts at times, but they like to do it on their own and they don't necessarily like a ton of people around. The number seven reason why a Himalayan cat may not be best for you is it can be difficult to train. The reason you get cats is they're easy to train and there's really not a lot to train them on. Where to go to the bathroom, where to eat, things to not scratch. There's only a few things that you really need your cat to do, but a Himalayan cat can be stubborn at times and can be difficult to train, and it may take more repetitions than most cats to learn their litter box, food, things to stay off of, things not to scratch. So it's something to keep in mind. If you can stay on this cat, give them the training, give them the corrections, then it'll be no problem at all. But if you don't want to do this and you want to look to an easier cat, there's plenty of cats that are easier to train than the Himalayan and it's something to be aware of if you're looking into this cat. 
We hope you've enjoyed this video all about the Himalayan cat and whether or not it's right for you and your family. And we'll see all of you on the next one.